guys are phenomenal. AJ Styles, and you're watching Red Out Live. What is going on, guys? Brutal Live back with another video. Never heard of Brutal Live do WWE and WWE Ashfears, but today. We are doing Marvel Legends. We have the entire brand new series here for the Marvel Avengers Endgame movie that is coming out here on Octo uh, October, uh, April 27th. We have every single figure here. We have all seven from the series. We have Living Laser. We have Citizen Val right there. We have Nighthawk. We have Ronin. No, we have Hawkeye as Ronin. We have uh, Ebony Ma. And we have... Hercules right here, and then we have Captain America, and then we have Thanos, which you could build if you buy every single one of the figures, but you don't have to buy Captain America, because he doesn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece. But without further ado, we're going to get into unboxing all these figures, so let's do it. Okay guys, starting off with Captain America, of course, part of the Endgame brand new series. Again, we picked these up at Walmart. Look at all that dust on it. Like, why is all that dust right there? Hey, whatever. There's a nice little picture of Captain right there, Captain America again. On the back, there's Captain America right there. All the other people in the series right there. Pretty freaking cool. I love picking up a Marvel Legend every once in a while. And as you guys can notice, he is wearing the new gear from the new Endgame movie. Okay, guys. Here we have Cap right here looking really cool again in the brand new Avengers suits, which I think look absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that, dude. That is crazy. I think we've seen this Captain America head scan in the past. I'm not the best with my Marvel Legends, to be honest with you guys. But dang, does this look freaking great this new attire for cap just looks freaking sick i know all of them from what i've seen in the trailers wear this uh same sort of suit oh at, at a time in the movie but yeah it looks really freaking good man really like it of course captain america does come with the american shield right there but yeah so far really good looking figure Next up, guys, we are going to get into Hercules. And remember, guys, at the end of the video, we will be putting together Thanos. So stay tuned for that. Here we have Hercules. Comes with a bunch of accessories and some interchangeable hands, which are going to be really cool to look at. Pretty cool logo of Hercules right there. There he is on the side. There he is. There's the Avengers Spot Varnish logo on the top. There's the back. Other people in the series. One more time right there. Looking pretty cool. And again, there's all the uh, Thanos parts that come with a certain figure. But yeah, I really can't wait to build that figure. And then there's some info if you guys want to pause the video to read. All right, guys. Here we have Marvel's Hercules right here looking absolutely really cool. I really underestimated this figure. But dang, does it look really freaking good. And it is a big figure. Like, there he is right next to Captain America. That is a big figure, man. Look at this. Really, I love the head scan. He's got like the... Sort of like the mask on his face, which looks pretty cool. He's got a bunch of different connections here, a bunch of pockets. And in the back, he could hold... I don't even know what you would call this. Comment down below you would call this weapon. And then he has a really big sword, which, of course, if you interchange the hands, you can have him holding it. But he does have fisted hands right now, which I'm totally fine with it. Look really cool. And he does have the little gold wrist gauntlets. And then he has the black sort of, like army looking pants but yeah this figure looks really good man and then those boots look cool too look at that you can see the straps and then it hinges up and then you do have the ankle pit it's really freaking cool figure man that is so sick putting him back there by cap oh and i forgot to mention i don't want to show too much detail because i'm going to show all the detail when i put it together but yeah he did come with the thanos head and then again the interchangeable hands oh. Okay, guys, here we have Citizen Bell looking really cool, man. I don't know what I don't know too much about this character, but it looks freaking sick. He does have the mask right there, really cool, and he does have the American colors on the cape. And he does come with... I'm not sure if that's r the right or left leg, but we'll figure it out when we take it out. But yeah, really cool looking package. It says Citizen V, Marvel right there. Really cool, man. Awesome. And then moving to the back, you do have some info right there. You guys can pause the video to read, and then there are the other people in the series once again. All right, guys, here we have Citizen V right here looking really sick. I kept the rubber band on the hand because it does help the sword stay in place, and I really like this sword. Take a look at it, man. Really freaking sick. Holds it really well, man. Here are the shoulder pads, dude. What really got my eye on this figure are the shoulder pads. Does the cape come off? It does with a little connection in the past, in the back. I'm not going to take it off right now, but there is a little connector in the past, in the back, that uh, keeps it connected to the figure. But yeah, I love the shoulder pads. The head scan is crazy. There's not really a scan there. It's sort of like a mask. Comment down below if you guys know anything about... Oh, these characters that I don't really know that much about. Comment down below if you guys do. The boots look amazing. That's one thing I noticed about the package. I mean, no, not about the package. About the figure when I took it out. Looks freaking great. And then there's the cape. Looking like it's flying through the wind. Yeah, guys, this figure's looking sick. One oh, I forgot to mention, there's some, like, uh... Ah, comment down below what you call that. 
It looks sort of like a cummerbund, but it's in the center right there. Really cool, man. Let's throw him back there. Oh, and then the build figure piece that he come with is, we gotta figure this out. This is the right leg. Yeah, this is the right leg, because he does have the, uh, gear on the outside. I don't see why it would be on the inside. I would ruin the articulation. But yes, there is that articulation piece right- I mean, not articulation piece, build a figure piece. Next up, we are gonna get into the living laser. This figure looks freaking sick, man. It comes with the torso that puts everything for Thanos together again. We are gonna be putting together Thanos at the end of the video, so stay tuned. There's the living laser right there looking really cool, like a trans- We're gonna get it out, we're gonna get it out. But yeah, guys, I love the Marvel logo right there. Really cool packaging for all of these figures. I love the dark blue. Oh, this, oh, this guy looks so sick, man. Again, other people in the series right there, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. Oh my gosh, here we have the living laser looking absolutely wicked man again I don't know too much about this character So definitely let me know in the comments down below of course this is from the comics, but yeah dang does it look freaking wicked dude I, It's not even a head scout. I don't even know that is crazy sick man I'm not even sure if that's a mask over a head or but yeah comment down below But yeah, it looks really freaking cool. I love all the paint It's more of like a translucent pink with which I really like it looks really cool and he did come with these um white lightning uh, sort of effects that you could put on the hands really easy to put on and I love them man they had a really cool effect I like how you get some of the uh, lightning paint on the wrist and then it goes to the uh, uh, more like 3d version which is really cool you do have some white paint on the front and the back right there you have some details on the shoulders right there moving down mainly the translucent pink all the way down but yeah man that is so sick dude one of the figures that I'm most excited for out of the series, dude. Really freaking cool. Let's throw him back there. The uh, Build-A-Figure piece that the living laser comes with is right here. It is the Thanos torso, man. Dang, this Thanos figure is going to be huge. Look at that. It's going to be huge. We're going to get it put together again at the end of the video if you guys stay tuned long enough. Or you guys can just skip to the end of the video. But next up we have is Marvel's Nighthawk. Oh, this figure looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of Batman, of course, just not black. But yeah, because that logo looks it. Yeah, but yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, this figure looks freaking sick. Again, Marvel's Nighthawk right there. Really cool, man. There's the back. There's a picture of him. Pause the video if you guys want to read. Definitely, again, let me know in the comments down below about all these characters because I don't know the uh, comic um, story behind them. But yeah, this looks really freaking cool. Again, all the other people in the series. So let's get this guy cracked open. Okay guys, here we have Marvel's Nighthawk right here looking absolutely wicked, man. Look at this, dude. I love the logo on the front. Head scans are looking pretty sick as well right there. Kind of reminds me of the um, Wolverine, like the Wolverine, like, and then the uh, spice come out of his wrist. Oh, right there, but it looks really freaking cool. I love that. Out of the knuckles, sorry. But yeah, it looks really cool, man. I love the blue, the navy blue going around the entire design. The boots again, just like um, Citizen Vel right there. These boots are killer sick, man. Look at that. That is sick, dude. And then the main thing about this figure, look at this cape. That is huge. Look at that. Just look. There's a huge space in the back because this cape is huge. But you can plug in the back since it stays put like that. Or you could take it out since it's just wiggle it around. But I'll, I would, uh, I suggest putting it into the uh, hole so then it doesn't just fly everywhere. But yeah, there is the man right there, Nighthawk. Let's throw him back there by Living Laser. The uh, belt figure pieces he comes with is the right arm here for Thanos. Really cool. And then he comes with this. Which is sort of like a sword, but why would Thanos need a sword? He has the freaking Infinity Gauntlet. Like, that's, I don't know. We're going to see in the movie Endgame, April 27th, if you guys didn't know. Moving into another figure here we have is Ebony Maw from Infinity War. If you guys probably, you, for sure you guys saw this movie. Freaking amazing movie. If you guys haven't seen it, it is on DVD. But yeah, it's really freaking good. And he actually died in Infinity War, which is pretty cool. Moving to the back, there he is right there. This guy had like some force, like... Oh, power, which was pretty cool. Definitely check out the movie if you guys haven't already. But yeah, there they are in the series. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. Alright guys, here we have Ebony Ma with a really sick looking head scan, man. As Tony Stark called him, Squidward. Comment down below if that looks like Squidward. But yes, looks really cool, man. I love that head scan. He does have the hair in the back. I didn't even realize he had hair in the movie, but of course he did if it's on the figure. But yeah, looks pretty cool back there. The suit is sick looking. He's got a bunch of gold going down the center, a bunch of... Uh, gray and silver plastic uh, paint going around the entire figure looks really cool and then the black arms Yeah, this is a tall figure. I mean look at it toward uh, Like next to all these other figures it looks 
big, man. That's a tall figure right there. And then the hands are really cool too. I like that. How you can put it up to his like hand. I mean, put it up to his face like that. It looks really cool, man. I love that. And then moving down, he does have like these little flaps, which I kind of like right there. Really cool. I love those. And there's another flap in the back. There's a look at the back of the figure. And then he does have the baggy pants, which do have texture to them right there. Really cool. I love that. And then there are the boots. But yeah, this is really sick, man. That's a cool figure. Look at how tall that is, man. That's, that's awesome, bro. Now we got to get into the last figure. Oh, and the accessories piece. He did come with the left leg. Here we are moving into... Hawkeye as Ronin, and look at that interchangeable hand. That looks freaking sick, like he's throwing ninja stars. But yeah, this is sick. Comes with the last accessory piece for Thanos, which is the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet left arm. There's Ronin in the package. Of course, this is uh, Hawkeye, the guy that shoots the arrows, if you guys don't know. This is Hawkeye in his, uh, like, secondary, uh, what would you call him? Like his secondary character. We're going to have to wait to see in Endgame. But yeah, this figure looks freaking sick. Right there. Really cool. So let's get it open right now. Here we have Hawkeye as Ronin looking really sick. Starting off with the interchangeable hand. Dang, does that look sick. He's throwing three ninja stars with his left hand. And of course, that's an interchangeable hand. You do get a normal hand to hold the swords. But yes, this looks freaking sick, man. That is really cool. You can remove the... Uh, uh, hood right there, but you can put it on really easily. It's not connected by anything, but it just sits there pretty nice It doesn't fall off that much either, which is really cool I love the gold highlights over the black But the one thing I'm kind of confused about is how these swords go in comment down below if you guys know But like there's two and I'm not sure if you're supposed to be putting both of them in there But it looks weird. It doesn't look right when you hold them both in there But comment down below what you guys did with the swords, but the swords also are looking really nice Comment down below again What did you guys do with the swords if you guys picked up this figure because I don't know what to do with it But yeah, he is sort of wearing this like sort of baggy attire, which is really cool. I love this man Oh, I cannot wait to see this movie dude They just come out with another trailer the day I'm filming this video and Oh, I just cannot wait to see it. And then there are the, uh, sort of look like kick pads, but they're not, of course. But yeah, he does have some gold highlights over black right there. All right, let's throw him in the back. And now we have every figure unboxed. Now we build the man himself, Thanos. We're going to build Thanos right now. We're starting off with the left leg. Let's crack that in there with ease. Uh, it's hard to do be on the camera. Oh, we gotta, we gotta move out of the camera. Sorry. Yes. Boom. That is in. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera a lot. But yeah, it's just hard to get these legs in. This is like the hardest thing to get in. Oh. All right. Is it in? Wait, no, it's not. Get that in fully, baby. Okay, it's in. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Okay, we got the legs in. Sorry I had to do that off camera. It's just a little hard to do it when I have the camera in front of me because I don't want to knock it down. We have the right arm, wait, the left arm right there. Looking sick. If it'll go in. Right there. Sick. Move to the right arm. Cracks in right there. Put the little sword, which I don't, again, don't know why it comes with. Uh, because he does have the infinity gauntlet. Why would he need this? Okay. Oh my god. This is sick. Oh throwing the head on Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This is freaking sick. Oh My god. Oh What? Yo, that is sick. That is crazy, dude. The last builder figure that I made was the monster venom, but dang this is a step up. This is freaking sick! Oh my god! There's the Thanos head scan right there. He's all armored up. The uh, previous Thanos figures did not come with the armor on, but he is coming with the armor in this build a figure. Oh my, look at that dude! Yo, that is sick, man! My boy Thanos! That's freaking awesome. Take a look at, there's just too much to say. Just take a look. There's the sword right there. Pretty cool. Oh my, look at the torso! Yo, this is sick! Oh, there's the Infinity Gauntlet with a fisted Infinity Gauntlet too. I didn't build the first Thanos, so it's pretty cool. I did pick up the first 10 years Thanos, that's why I don't have the fist. But now I do in this Build-A-Figure, but dang bro, oh my god! That is freaking wicked! Yo, that is sick, man! Look at that! Okay guys, this is like one of this has been like one of the most fun unboxings I've ever done on the channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't do 
Oh, full Marvel Legends all over the channel. I, I usually always do. I always do WWE action figures all over the channel. Not normally Marvel Legends, but today I couldn't hold back uh, without filming a video on all of these Marvel Legends. Uh, again, this is the brand new Avengers Endgame Marvel Legends series. Pick it up at Walmart. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Brutal Live and Thanos out.